Hello everyone and welcome to Truly Bedrock Season 1. This is episode 28 and we are in the shopping district. I was coming over here just to check out my shops before I got the video started and I saw this. <laughs> so Halloween time is upon us and one thing I definitely want to do is get myself like a skeleton skull or something like that to wear throughout the next few episodes. Um, just in the spirit of Halloween, I would wear a pumpkin, but, you know, pumpkin can't see, stuff like that. I would definitely like to get one of these cats, a uh, black cat, that'd be cool, but we're not going to do that. Um, so, looks like there's cobwebs for sale to use for decoration during this time of year. And then there is a book here, Trick or Treat Event. So why don't we spice up the holiday season? A little by setting up doorbells for all our realm mates to go trick-or-treating at if you want to participate please set up a doorbell and dispenser at your portal or if your nether tunnel is long tunnel entrance for the others to get tricks or I'm sorry treats or tricks these doorbells can be fancy haunted affairs or just a button in a dispenser it's all up to you no need to go out all, all out on the treats not every house needs to give out king-size candy bars and please keep all tricks non-deadly. Well, darn. <laughs> no, this event is entirely optional and subject to your own discretion and time. It's meant to be fun, extra thing, not work. The idea is to go trick-or-treating during stream day if you want. Pound signs are fine too. Okay. Anyway. Um, so yes. We are going to participate in this. And for those of you that don't know, we are going to have another stream day coming up very shortly. And we have put our name in the hat. So, this time, <laughs> we'll be streaming. So, what I want to do is... First, let's go check the, the wool shop. I just want to check it real quick. I don't remember if I did this or not. There was this. I did come back and stock these up. That is correct. And it's a good thing. Made a little bit of diamonds, so... Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, we'll deal with that. I'm, I'm, yep, yep, we're, we're going. Let's go to the nether. I don't, I don't like the jump boost. <laughs> it's throwing me off. It was speed too. There for a while, that was pretty nice. So, let's go through the portal. Our nether tunnel isn't too long, but, oh, hello. That's a good place for those. Please get rid of the jump boost. So here's the entrance to ours. Uh, Gruva is down here and DB is that way. He's actually off the blue tunnel. Um, but I left that up nonetheless. And why do we not have food? Oh, I know why. We were just getting rid of our shulker boxes. Um, Foxy... Sold me 14 shulker boxes of nether wart, and I think TNC gave me 15 or something like that. Uh, yeah, we yeah, we have all the nether wart, so. so our portal is right there. We have our little doorbell system. I think we're going to set this up since our tunnel isn't too long. I mean, that's the tunnel entrance over there. Should we just do it at the entrance? Let's see. If we could do it, we could change the sign to say, you know, zap right here. And then we could set up the doorbell right here so people don't have to run all the way down there and then all the way back. So let's do that. Let's set this up. And do we remember how to do this? I do believe it was that and that, yes. And then we will put this, one, one, three, boom, done, done and done. So basically what I want to do here is we got our shulker box and I basically want to set up a couple of dispensers. And I think, I think we'll go right here or right here, like so. And then I'll end up covering these up with netherrack, and we're going to have tricks and treats. We're going to set up a doorbell probably right, 
probably right here so we can get some some redstone behind it and basically what I want to do is set up a randomizer so when you push the doorbell the randomizer will fire we'll have one of two signals those two signals can go up one will fire this two will fire this we'll have tricks and we'll have treats other way around tricks treats so for for treats I know it said we don't have to go all out but what I'm thinking is going over to the raid farm and getting a few good books that we could put in here I have some extra elytra from the end rating I did um, maybe a couple of shulker boxes in here stuff like that we have you know 15 total active members minus myself is 14 so we'll probably need to set up a hopper up there with a few um, extra items in it and then for the tricks over here, you know, we could plonk out uh, just some random items, some garbage that come out. Or we could throw down some splash potions that necessarily won't hurt the player. You know, we won't do harming or anything like that, but we could drop out slowness or weakness or <laughs> something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But what I need to do is I need to actually, do I have my ender chest? I don't. So I need to go to the gaming area and grab that real quick. And then we're going to set up our doorbell here and dig out a little bit of space so we can actually get some things wired up. So yeah, let me get to digging. Let me get my stuff over here and I will be back to you guys in just a moment. All right, so we've got it pretty well set up now. We move the sign. We got the button. Zaps trick or treat, so people can come and push the button. Um, in the last clip, you should have seen me get this right here, and we are gonna wear this for the rest of Halloween just to get in the spirit of things. And this button has a simple little redstone wire that comes up, feeds this dropper right here. And this is the randomizer you guys saw me use in my game. Um, we're going to up the chances of different things happening. But basically, we're going to have the treats be the one tick pulse. Or the, the one the stackable items <laughs> that come up into the hopper. And then the treats uh, tricks will be the third. All those hit this block here that power these dispensers here. So the... Treats would be the stone, and the tricks will be a smooth sandstone that we have in here. And just to show how this thing works, we are simply going to press this little button here. So this should be the smooth sandstone that popped out. Simple enough, and I have some in my inventory, so that's what it went into. Let's do that again. You can see it was the third one again. The third one again. So maybe what I'm going to do is pull this out. So you have a better chance of getting a treat rather than a trick. So that's all the, the stone and stuff like the stone bricks and the smooth sandstone. It's all firing out of there. Now if we did do this, if we covered this up like it would be, it should fire through the netherrack as we found out before. So that's a treat. That's a treat. That's a tri treat. There's a trick. So, yeah, it, it, it works. It's firing through. Maybe I should pull out. Maybe I should just make it more or less a 50-50 a shot of what's going to happen here. So, people can get that. <laughs> I'm going to throw a torch, even though lighting doesn't necessarily matter up here <laughs> and then we are going to cover well we're not going to cover this up yet what i want to do is get a couple of hoppers out here and the way i wired this up we're going to need to put a hopper here and if i can get around to this side just by mining those out we can put a hopper here so we're going to put the different things for the tricks here and the treats here 
now what I need to do is, I guess, head over to my raid farm, which is a ways away, and get a few things. We'll clean up this area here. <laughs> We've made a mess <clears throat> of the place. Obviously, our inventory also needs some looking at, but before we head out of here, we'll get all this stuff out. And then, let's see, did I have, I had that, redstone, wood, then the nether brick, and this guy right here. So, I know it said we don't have to go over the top, I don't feel I'm going to go over the top with any of this, but we are going to give some decent treats and or tricks. Again, we'll have this wall covered up, so it'll just look like our tunnel. Once you push this button, something will fly out of this here and here. We are going to need to, of course, make sure we grab this stuff out before we leave. And now we will get these things loaded up with the various items that I have planned. So for the tricks, we have just a few potions here. We've got, uh, we're going to put some, some random dye in there. And then we're going to put in the invisibility, weakness, then we'll go slowness, invisibility, weakness, slowness, then invisibility and weakness. And then we'll put the last potion in the hopper above. Um, this basically, I wasn't going to do anything crazy with this over here. Uh, we could actually, you know what we should do? <laughs> I, was, I was thinking the orange dye just for grins, but if we take out four of those, we're just going to put nether rack in there. <laughs> I was doing the, like I said, the orange dye, because that's just kind of something easy that people can get. Um, as far as the treats now, uh, I guess we'll do it from up top. We'll put it all in the hopper here. So let's just shove this right here for now. I went over to the raid farm and I grabbed some mending books. Now these have other enchantments on them, obviously, but I thought those would be nice. Um, we got a few extra elytra. I have five more of these at the base. They're just going to sit in chests, so maybe people could put those to use. I don't know. Um, then we grabbed kind of our best armor that we had from our end raids as well. So we've got a helmet here. It's okay. It's already got mending on it. We've got the chest plate here with unbreaking and mending. We have some pants with blast protection, unbreaking, mending, and then we have a decent little set of boots here as well. A decent pick here, and then that is a pretty stellar shovel right there. So that is going to be the things that people are going to get. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to alternate these kind of like that. And that should be good enough, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. If we look in here. Yep, we've got kind of one of everything. So basically what I did here is I set this up to where people could press this a couple of times and get a couple of different things. Um... Each member, I guess, could press the button twice, and that would be all that they could do. But that is that set up. Now what I am going to do is put this back in here. I have all of these bottles on me for no apparent reason. Mm, anyway, let's go ahead and pop on through to the gaming district. Uh, we need to do a little bit of work on our game. Mostly just changing the book and then the timings on the third section as Rogue Fox let us know because he ran through the game. Uh, if you guys want to see that, then of course go over to Rogue Fox's channel and check him out. I mean, come on. I'm sure you're already subscribed to all the Truly Bedrock members, right? Anyway, as you can see, things are being built um, I believe that Rogue's game is right here. We're not going to do too much, but that. <laughs> and Blue Jay's building something. Sorry, Blue Jay. It, it's kind of, I can't hide it. And I've got something marked out right here. 
So I smelted down a bunch of smooth sandstone or sandstone nonetheless. I got a little bit here. I've got some bone blocks. I've got quite a bit more here. And then this was just for marking. Hello, I see you over there. And basically the plan is we were going to do something with this temple right here. Now I went on to creative and I kind of started digging around this thing and started thinking about bringing it up out of the sand. And yeah, yeah, it just, it's just not going to be what I, <laughs> what I wanted it to be. And this isn't really a good location, I don't believe, for it. So what I've decided to do is move the temple over to here. This will be the back. This will be the front. Basically, when you come out of the portal, um, I mean, I was facing that way. It depends on the direction in which you come through it, obviously. But this is going to be kind of the center focal point is the token room where you can bring the tokens and you can exchange them for gifts and prizes. So what we need to do now is basically build this completely up. Uh, the temple's 21 by 21, I think. I believe I got that correct. And there's not a, a lot to talk about with this, so I'm just going to start building it up a little bit. Uh, the one thing that I've done before we cut away and start building is we'll just grab some of this. And we'll go over here to this temple. If we look at the temple itself, actually, hello, you guys have been here for long enough. It's time to get rid of you. Ow, ow, and ow. Wow. Anyway, if we look at this, this is all sandstone, right? If we dig this up, please, I'm trying to record, guys. You guys are so much of a pain. Anyway, if we take that, that's sandstone. It looks gritty. I, I really don't like it. So I'm going to change up the sandstone for this right here in my inventory. I think this block looks a little bit better than this. A little smoother. Actually, that is sand. Why did I grab that? I am not very bright. <laughs> here we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's a little cleaner. Obviously, the name Smooth Sandstone. And then what I also don't want is this right here, the orange. I don't really like the way it looks. So we're going to take this out of the equation. And if we use a little bit of this right here. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll do that. That. Uh, we need another piece, so we'll just grab it from right here. We are going to tear down this whole temple and get rid of it too, and kind of redo the land at some point. But if we do that and that, this is basically what I'm going to do. And then just imagine the smooth sandstone all the way around this, just to clean it up. We're going to give it a little bit of a facelift and make it look just a touch nicer. So that is what we're going to do for now. I am going to get after it. We're tearing it down, rebuilding it, things like that. And hopefully we can recreate this, this temple over there. <laughs> so I've got the pretty much the outer facade of this thing all done up. And I wanted to wait till nighttime to show you guys that did a little bit of the lighting trick. I, I was wrong. I wasn't insetting these. I was insetting the walls. And basically, if we go around and look, we have some stairs here throughout. We have some slabs on the top, which allow light through. Obviously, we haven't done anything with the bottom just yet. But we also have the top side where we have some stairs going right here. You can see the light peeking through. These are a little bit different in color. Up here, I did the stairs all the way around and I kind of made a little chute here. So I have sea lanterns under the corners there. On top there, I used half slabs, same thing, so that the light wouldn't show through. And of course, <laughs> I didn't tell anybody not to sleep. So anyway, we got lights down in the corners over, or it shines down to the corners as well. Um, if we actually go down in here, you can see I lowered this by a half slab here. So right in this corner, I've got some light. And then I went around this outer side just to kind of make the room a little bit uh, 
what do you call it, a little bit bigger. Um, I'm, I'm probably just going to leave like a, a shroot like that instead of having the, the 3x3 block gap that is there. So anyway, we have pretty much the whole outer facade of this thing done up. If we go, let's go over here. I mean, it pretty much looks like that. Just different. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if we go in here, this is a 3x3 three three drop here. Obviously, I, I pushed my walls in by one block here. And then if we go in here, um, this whole side is not necessarily filled in, but there is a way to get out of it right here that we uncovered. We're going to make a way to get out of it anyway, and then we're probably going to do this right here. I might even introduce the cut sandstone all the way around. And we'll do the little pattern in the floor, but of course we'll have the bone blocks instead of the... Um, is it orange terracotta? Yes. Instead of the orange terracotta. <laughs> um, and then we're going to tear this thing down pretty much to this level. And then we're going to fill it all back in. We'll just kind of leave the rest of the, the pyramid buried here. Um, let's go. If we go up here, we can actually do this now. And see what it looks like. Grab those. I saw there was a bad guy in there. Hello, sir. You are... Bye. So, if we go like that, this would be the center here. Right? And then, I believe it's two strips like this. Might have to swing back on by the, uh, the pyramid real quick like that then I believe it is this 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 and this which is gonna be hard with these blocks because they have the stripe going one way so if I place them going this way obviously it's gonna look weird with this going this way um, this is the east and west direction so I think what we'll do is we'll continue well we can go like that and like that. I think that's the pattern on the floor. It's not too, too terrible. If we go out here and get into our inner chest real quick and grab ourselves a little bit of these guys, we can fly around just a, a shade quicker. And we'll double check that. And... Yes, that's exactly the pattern. There would have been um, a little bit of orange terracotta here, here. This one actually has a blue terracotta in the middle, but I'm not too worried about that. We're not going to change that up. And then, obviously, I have this entrance here. I don't have this stuff here. There is a way to get into the center pillars and get out. Um, we're not going to have that because we dropped these walls back, so these hallways won't be... In the pyramid but all in all I don't think it looks too bad if we take a little bit of a, a sky bird or yeah bird's eye view of it um, one thing I may want to do is I may want to shave this in this direction and just kind of fix up the weird cut into the side of the hill here really that could be done simply by just kind of shaving some of this down. If we were to take and go like this, and then just cut this like so, just kind of let it do what it's gonna do with the swinging of the shovel. And I mean, that, that naturalizes, I guess, is that the right word that makes it a little feel a little more natural. We could do kind of the same thing here and, and cut this. This kind of comes out like this, and then we could wrap back around like this. And then here, we could cut this out. 
like that. And then we could just do away with this. We'll fill that back in in just a minute. I like what I did there. That's The block lag is still a thing. That's not a big deal. I think this will look just a tad more natural. Now we didn't do anything fancy there. Is this nope, that's smooth sandstone. So now let's fly up. And let's go up a little higher. Yeah, that lo that looks just a tad bit better. Uh, we got to get rid of this little patch right here. And then I think we're pretty good with the way that we sat this in the corner there. I just wanted it to be um, kind of the center focal point. I'm not sure what everybody else is doing. I know Rogue and Blue Jay are building in this area. My thought process is, you know, you could come in here. We might have... I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have the pillars around. Maybe on each pillar we'll have different boxes or shulker boxes and we could have something at the bottom saying, you know, five tokens for this one. You can get anything out of the box. Ten tokens, 20 tokens, 40 tokens, and we can just keep making it exponentially bigger as we do it. But I think I'm going to leave the interior of this place for the next episode, guys. We've been on here for about four hours now building just this little bit. And we did the the um, trick-or-treat thing. So yeah, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Whoops. A <laughs> little bit different. We're done with the mini game. There are some fixes I need to go over and do, which I'm going to do after I cut this video. And yeah, we got some typos and things like that that we need to fix in our book. But all in all... This is looking pretty good, I think. I like the, the white on the smooth sandstone. Then just gives it a little bit different of a feel. So anyway, we will see you guys on the next episode. As always, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Um, all, the dis all the ways to follow me are in the description below. And right here at the very end, I want to thank everybody for the 1K sub subscribers on YouTube. It's an awesome achievement, and I'm so thankful to each and every one of you. But for me, that's it. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.